Hey, what's up? I'm X. And welcome back to the Four Idiots series. And I'm proud to say that this has been our most popular series by far, and I want to thank you all for that. Today, we're going to cover Vardorvis. After the Desert Treasure 2 quest, head back to the Stranglewood with your best melee slash armor and a slash weapon. The Fang on slash is good, Soul Reaper Axe, the Scythe, the Tentacle, they're all great options. To start this fight, simply hit him with whatever you've got. Make sure you pray melee the whole fight as he only attacks with melee, and there's only a couple hazards to be aware of in this fight. The Flying Axes. Axes will sprout out in different sections of the arena and be flung to the opposite side of where it spawned. You can either get out of the way of them or run through them like this. By putting in the ID number 12227 into the Better NPC Highlight plugin in the True Tile section, I am better able to time this dodge by running when the axe is here, coming towards me, or here as it's about to be thrown. These axes are the biggest killer in the fight, so make sure that you perfect this strategy because it's the most important thing that you can do. The head on a stick attack. Sometimes Vardorvis's lost head will sprout up in the arena and shoot a little projectile at you. You have until it reaches you to pray against it. If you don't, your prayers will be disabled and Vardorvis will more than likely hit you for about 30 damage, but sometimes it's a zero. Uprooting. Move if the snow beneath you looks like this. Not hard. Blood vessels. He can also do this attack where he reaches into the ground and will spawn these blood vessels on your screen. Simply click them all as fast as humanly possible to avoid taking damage. Now that's the whole fight, but there are some things to keep in mind. For every 10 HP that you take off of Vardorvis, he will swap his defense levels with his strength levels, meaning that the closer you get to the end of the fight, the stronger he will be, but the more damage he will take. He will try to overwhelm you with attacks towards the end, so try to bring a special attack weapon to finish off the fight fast. Thralls are a great idea to bring as well as a Blood Fury for long trips if you can afford it. Another thing worth mentioning is that the Ultor Ring is one of the most expensive rings, but it is also the rarest of all the rings, so do keep that in mind if you're here for money. That's basically the entire Vardorvis fight. If you like this video, if you like my tips, if you enjoy the brevity of these style of videos, I would really appreciate a like and a subscription and a comment on all these things. I will see you the next time. Goodbye.